August has arrived, and while we'd like to perpetually relax in the sunshine like our cat Waffle here, we have a slew of projects to finish up. Like this one. This room has become my main focus for the past two weeks, so much so that I barely stepped outside. And I'm overjoyed it's almost finished. Almost. There are still some things to be done. So what I thought would be quite an easy job has just turned into um, taking me a little bit longer than I had expected. So again, I've saved the worst for last and uh, just have some extra repairs to make. But uh, like that hole over there, but that's, that's not a big deal. Just set me back maybe, you know, a half a day, but uh, this is, this is it. Then I'm done. We had a piece of the cornice that was hanging down. It was loose, it was hanging down and it was likely to fall. Yeah, so we just, we took it down. Well, in the process, it broke. <laughs> yeah. But I've now glued these two bits together and I think it'll be better if I put this in first and then add this one after because it's all sort of tight and you know wonky because right. the edges are uneven from all the paint. And, and you can see I've sort of worked around this area because I've been waiting for you to do this. <laughs> well and you can see the two ends of this. I thought they were clean cuts. Yeah. But they're not. They're from those packs. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it just uh, it just cracked along with the rest yeah. of the plaster. But it's got wood behind it, and these so, are super heavy. You know, the wood is behind it, so I can I can glue it to that. Yeah, just glue it together pretty easily. And be gentle with it. Lincoln glued the plaster piece in place and added a couple of screws beneath for support, just in case. The screws have since been removed and the ceiling painted. Just some touch-up remains. My next job was to skim coat the plaster walls so the wallpaper would have a nice even surface to attach itself to. I have never done this before, but thought, what's the worst that can happen? stretch here. Um, sanding and then the next step is to figure out actually how to get the wallpaper on the walls. We've never wallpapered before. I think this is going to be pretty straightforward since we're just dealing with four evenly shaped rectangles. So um, I'm pretty confident that we can we can get this up and sorted. It's just a lot of slog work. I would really love to be outside right now because I feel like we've been stuck in the house for weeks with all the rain we've had and uh, just all the work we've been doing inside.
This is the wallpaper we're about to hang. Pardon the interruption, but if you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the like button. It helps our small channel grow and you'll see our renovations, cute animals, garden porn, and sometimes we even leave the chateau and go somewhere. Now back to the video. So it's, uh, I'm going on hour 11 <laughs> with this room and I'm still not 100% done with the ceiling. I have mm -hmm. a little bit over there. So I'm a little tired. So this is probably the worst time to <laughs> put wallpaper up is when you're overtired and For on the verge of crankiness. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet, but <clears throat> it's our first time, but they made it look very easy. So yeah, um, we're putting up a, uh, wall, a wallpaper from a Swedish company called Sandberg and they had a video on their website mm -hmm. how to do it and the lady made it so easy to Yeah, lickety spoon. Like, <laughs> she said it in a fancy British accent. Like, and now apply the wallpaper paste. And she made it look so easy and then so anyway that's what we're doing. We're kind of running out of light. It's uh, we're approaching it's about eight eight, yeah. 8 p.m. I mean, we have a couple more hours, but it mm -hmm. just gets yeah. uh, dark. So I think we can probably manage to put this panel up tonight mm -hmm. and then finish hope, the yeah. rest. Yeah, we hope so. You should be a little fresher than me. You, you, you took a little <laughs> break today. You took, uh, he took our daughter racing. So um, you were at the go-kart track yes, for a while. Yeah. So you probably got like that, your, your sun shining. That, that's and hard work though. Had a couple beers. <laughs> no, they don't serve alcohol. <laughs> they don't serve alcohol. <laughs> Cars Those and alcohol. Those two things don't, don't go mix. together. Yeah so. yeah, so the next time you see this room, we'll be sitting on a sofa lounging. Mm -hmm. So this is exciting. I don't have anything else to say to you. No, not really. You want to make a shout out did, to did, anybody? Did you want to... <laughs> sure. So I will pass the baton to you. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>
uh, just a space for where I've laid out all the prints and photographs and drawings that I'm thinking of putting above our TV in our petit salon. I'll show you what I'm thinking of. These are just a, a small sampling of what I actually have. I'll show you more next time. But uh, I have some bugs. This is a print I bought in Paris. I really love the anything having to do with the ocean or clouds, so I, I particularly like this moody, moody painting. And I have a fox. I think this one will definitely go up there because we have Foxy, our stuffed fox, who will be in the petit salon. So that reminded me of him or her. I like to inject a little bit of humor into my art selection. So this is obviously uh, Vermeer's The Milkmaid, the famous painting, but someone has added uh, cornflakes to the, to the painting, I know. Some might think it's wrong, but I kind of think it's silly. This is my mom. My mom never likes to be on camera, but she's quite beautiful. You can see where I get my good looks. That's a fun one. Clouds, I love clouds. Obviously, if you watched any of our vlogs, you know that I film a lot of clouds. And we have this cool man right here. Poor guy. He's quite interesting looking, isn't he? I know, people think I'm strange, but I kind of like that. Uh, there's a Matisse lithograph I bought in Paris. I just, I like the simple drawings of his. I have a Basquiat here. Obviously not <laughs> a real Basquiat or just a, a print of one of his uh, exhibitions. I wish I had a real Basquiat. Then I have some human feet. This is, um, I think this is 18th century or 19th century from a medical book. And then I have a kitty cat who reminded me of Mimi, our chateau cat. And uh, I don't think I ever saw her catch any birds. I know she's caught plenty of mice, but. And this is one of my favorites. I bought this in Paris years ago. Print. And then this is a um, Matisse uh, self-portrait. I kind of like the, the scribbly, I like the drawings. I think the pencil drawings are kind of simple and interesting. But this is just, like I said, a selection. Not all of these will fit, and I'm not sure where these will go. Uh, we're planning on putting sort of like a gallery wall upstairs in our center hallway, our main hallway that leads to all the bedrooms, but I'll probably put some more personal photos of the kids up on the bedroom level. So I have more and I'll show you next time. And this is a table uh, we purchased recently. I found this at a brocante and it's a pretty little hand carved table. Unfortunately, someone had drilled some holes in, in the top, but uh, that doesn't really bother me. We scored this for 25 euro, so I couldn't resist. So we're just about to head out to give the donkey some treats. I, I picked them some lettuce. We have so much lettuce in the garden, so I'm giving them each a nice head. I thinned out a few little carrots too, so they get like gourmet baby carrots this morning. They love the carrots. Anything carrot related, they just, they go nuts for. So we're gonna head out and see my donkeys. Hello. You want, would you like the baby carrots or the lettuce first? Let's do the baby carrot sampling. Um, is that good? Carrier said that they're only allowed, I think, one carrot a day, which we were coming out and giving them like four or five a day. 
So we just did their fly deodorant. They don't really like it, but it's funny, Dominic isn't affected by the flies as much as Uvea is. It's her eyes. Yeah, they're drippy. She has runny eyes. She has runny eyes. They like that. Yeah, but it helps. So that field behind us, that's your mission today. You're gonna start yes. mowing. Yes. So that we can get them back on there in the fall. Mm -hmm. And they can have the whole, uh, the whole field back. All right, so are you gonna get mowing? Um, yeah, it's a good day for it. It is. It was sunny yesterday, sunny today, so. I know, it's so nice it to out have, some. have the sun back. Oh yeah, yeah. And we will actually have a beach day this week. Yes. Provided the weather holds. You never know. Join us next time for the big reveal. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.